Today we're creating this gorgeous, elegant looking logo for somebody who's in the beauty or fashion industry. Let's jump in and create the logo. <laughs> From your home page, search for designs because that's how I found this gorgeous looking template. And when you scroll down, you can find different kinds of designs. There's this one that is available on Pro version, and there's another one that's an A that you can use for these sophisticated uh, looking designs. So you're just going to double click on this one. And then it opens up the canvas and the design itself one of the points i want to chat about today is when you're using um, the graphics and the designs on canva there's sometimes implication with how you use it and if it's free and whatnot so we're going to look at that today as well so just to change the color you click on the graphic itself and then i wanted to go with pink today thinking of sophisticated um, I like that looks like a fashion magazine kind of a pink so I'm um, gonna go with that and then we're gonna make it bigger so that it fills almost the full canvas itself and we're gonna move this cursive writing close to where the M is once you've made it bigger, then you can add the content over there or the text that you want to add. And this kind of design I want to use for a makeup artist. So we're going to use the M as make up with Z. And then we're going to make it smaller so that we size it. And it fits the writing itself like that so let's make it a little bit bigger because we have space like that and you can just play around so that you're happy with your sizing and then you align it nicely using your arrows and your back and your down so that it aligns like that perfect once you're happy with that your design is done so what I wanted to show you um, when you're working with designs on Canva just check the licensing and the legal um, use of the, the graphics and the photos that you're using how you do that, you click on the design itself and you click on this info I, and then it shows you, this is free for me because I'm using Canva Pro. So, and you can test it using my link below for 30 days and see how you like it. I'm actually quite loving it. And it's like $12 a month or something like that. So it's quite affordable and I'm giving my customers quite good um, quality designs. So once you've clicked on the I, it would show you the licensing and how you will not get in trouble or get in trouble by following the Canva rules. Like this design that we're using now, it's saying what's allowed. We can use it um, with any on any Canva design for personal or commercial use. We can use it in a marketing or social media or even sell merchandise without restrictions. There's two ticks that allows us to do that. And these two, it tells us that we can sell, redistribute or take credit for unaltered media provided through Canva. And then you, we can't trademark designs with stock media. So we need to be very careful when we're designing logos and we're using stock media like the one we're using now. If you're dealing with a, a customer that wants to trademark their logo, you won't be able to trademark this logo that we've used because we've used the stock media that was provided by Canva. There's more. When you click on learn more about licensing, you will get to view a little bit more. So um, get used to what you can and what you can't do 
when you're designing on Canva. But for the purpose of our exercise, it's gorgeous, it's done. I'm taking my customer doesn't want to trademark. Therefore, I'm going to download this image. I'm going to download it as transparent background. Because I have Canva Pro, I can immediately um, download it as transparent. If you're using a free version, then you need to use software like BG, uh, uh, remove.bg, and then it would allow you to um, convert it or remove the background. So let us see how the design looks like on PhotoP as a 3D. So you're going to look for photop.com and you're going to access PhotoP. So I found a nice cool way to help all of the users that are struggling with uploading this PSD template from their computer. I've loaded the template on the PSD template. So what you do, you click on PSD templates and then you'd land on the templates that are there. Uh, it is the first one because I've just loaded it not so long ago. However, you could go to mockups and look for other templates as well. But if you want to access it, you would just click where it says 3D class window logo mockup and it opens up and you click on the link that say photo P X, what, 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 that funny um, URL. Then you wait for the PSD file to load. Once it has loaded, uh, you would double click where it says your logo and then you'd hide your text. And then you're gonna go file, open in, in place and look for the design that we've just uh, created. So you click on it and you say open and it loads, you click and you drag size it the way you want to size it align it nicely with the lines and then you go file save as smart object and it's going to take away the lines and save the, save as a smart object awesome that's done then you click once where it says 3d glass window logo and you wait for the software to convert it like this and it looks awesome and amazing so if you want to take off the backlight you just click on the eye and then it highlights the makeup with z go watch the next video that is um, a logo that you could create on canva using your gradients on canva thank you for joining me i'll see you next time